First things first, we always start with a clean, fresh base. All I have on my skin right now is my moisturizer and my SPF, but I don't have any primer, I don't have any anything, and of course my brows are on. But here's a close-up of how my skin is looking as of right now. It's not completely clear, but I don't have any texture right now. It's pretty smooth for the most part. I just have you know, little marks from my breakouts. But again, this is how my face looks. Typically, I do not prefer skin tints or BB creams, CC creams. I just, I don't know what it is. I just can never get into them. So I'm hoping that this will kind of change my mind. First and foremost, it looks like they have a total of 25 shades. And then in the details, it says that it's a flexible skin tint, easy to apply, soft blurred finish. A blurring skin tint that delivers smooth, instantly blurred skin in just a few easy drops and 25 flexible shade options. And then it says the blur is real. Rihanna wanted to create a light coverage, easy to apply, flexible skin tint that instantly evens out your complexion and gives you a flattering blurred effect. Ease Drop with Hydrating Quick Blur Complexion is perfect for a no makeup makeup look or for when you want to look effortless, effortlessly put together. And 25 adaptable shade options for all. So it's blurring, buildable. It says it's light to medium long wear coverage. So we're going to see about that. I'm going to wear this foundation all day. It's hydrating, smooth texture. You can apply it with your fingers, I believe. They were saying that on TikTok, a lot of people apply it with their fingers. I'm not about that life. I'm gonna use a brush and a sponge like I normally used to do in my foundation reviews. And then humidity, sweat and transfer resistant formula. It's also 100% cruelty free. We're gonna skip on the primer just because I wanna give you a real feel for how the foundation by itself looks. And if it looks bomb by itself, it's gonna look even better with the primer for the most part. So I got shades. 10 and 11. I haven't swatched them. I haven't even opened the box to see if the colors are close to my skin tone. I kind of think I'm going to be shade 10 because I need a little bit of color right now. So I'm going to try this one. And here is what the box looks like. Is it upside down? That's totally upside down. <laughs> That's what the box looks like. It's just like their other or her other Fenty Beauty packaging. And this is what the foundation looks like so it's like this really sleek minimal tiny bottle and then as for the top it's a squeeze out tube i actually love how compact this is because it would be easy to just kind of throw it in a makeup bag or something because of how tiny it is it ooh, it feels pretty thick for a skin tint The color is nice. And it's not as thick as it feels when you put it on your skin. But it is sheer. Like it's exactly what it says so far. It's a very lightweight skin tint. And with a sponge especially, it's gonna shear out the coverage even more. So I'm gonna do a second layer. I think more than anything, this is just gonna even out my skin and give me a nice tan and complexion, but I will probably still need to go in and conceal if I wanted to wear this for a more medium to full, which I typically do. But as of lately, I have, like, I can't even lie, I have been enjoying more lightweight makeup. So, like, especially for every day. So there you have it. That is half of my face with a sponge. Looks even. The finish, I would say, is a natural finish. It's not super matte. And it's also not really dewy. So it did add color. It made my face even with my neck. Minimal coverage. 
and then compare it to this side. So we'll let that settle for a little bit and then I'll go ahead and apply this with a brush and see how that works. I'll actually use my e.l.f. This is the powder blurring, no. Yeah, powder blurring brush from e.l.f. I'm gonna put a couple drops on there. It's crazy because when you first put it on, it feels like it's gonna be full coverage because of how thick it is. This color match is perfect for me. And the 11, if I end up liking it, I think I'll keep the 11 because this matches me to the T and when I, when and if I get a tan this summer, which I should be, then I can use that 11. But that is one layer with a brush and I think it looks really pretty. It has a bit more coverage with the brush, but the finish is pretty similar. You can see here, you can see a little bit more of my scarring and on this side, it's a little, like the tiniest bit more coverage. So for me, it looks like a brush is the way to go. So far with no other product on top, I feel like it's super lightweight, it's breathable. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky or tight on my skin whatsoever. It actually feels super super comfortable and looking at it in the mirror i think this is something that i would wear by itself because sometimes when it comes to foundations or bbs or cc's sometimes you need like concealer and other things to kind of make you look more even but for this i think i could actually use it on its own and it won't look like i'm wearing just foundation or a skin tint by itself it is for sure blurring my skin looks so smooth up close especially my pores i tend to have larger pores right here and it looks really smooth and keep in mind i didn't use a primer okay so far so good so i am going to finish up my makeup i am going to do not a full glam or anything i'm going to do more of my everyday makeup with my other products and then see how it looks with other products on top and if it rubs off if I like it, etc. So I'll be back. All right, here's how my skin looks after applying my concealer, my bronzer, my highlight, my lip color, all the good stuff. And I think my complexion looks pretty good. Now that I put on the rest of my products, I can see this being a solid medium coverage. I did before putting on the rest of my makeup, I did go in with a little bit more foundation on this side with my e.l.f. brush just to make it nice and even. And now that my powder, not my powder, my bronzer and all my other stuff is on there, I think the skin looks nice. I try not to put too much product on top so that the skin tint can still kind of peek through, but I think so far so good. The skin, says it all as far as the claims now that i already have the foundation on i think it's pretty spot on let me kind of go back here so i think it is a lightweight skin tint i wouldn't say it's as light as air like it says on the box it, you can feel like you have something on your skin but it's not heavy like a foundation is it is blurring so far and the finish i would say it feels a little hydrating but it's more of a natural finish. It's not a glowy skin tint in my opinion. Even before me putting on any other stuff on top, you were able to see that it wasn't like a super glowy look. It was a little bit more of a natural, natural matte finish, I would say. And long wear coverage, we're gonna see about that. It is buildable, you can build it up, specifically with a brush in my opinion. Smooth texture, and we'll see if it's humidity, sweat and transfer resistant right now it's 12 49 p.m so i'm gonna come back 
probably around like seven. No, I would say probably like eight after a good seven to eight hours of wearing the foundation so we can see how it's looking, if it's still intact, if it's, you know, looking crazy or if it's looking bomb. We're gonna see at the end of the day, but I will check back in with you guys in a few hours and see how it's looking. All right, fam, so I changed cause <clears throat> I just finished filming another video right now and I'm hot, but we had a productive day. So I wanted to hop on here, show you how my makeup is looking, just kind of do a quick little check-in. So right now it is, I think I checked in with you guys around like 12.40 and right now, it's 4.46, so it's been four hours that I've been wearing this foundation. Let me kind of back up a little bit. And here is a close-up of how it looks. And I'm using my vlog camera, by the way, so you can kind of get a close look here. So it still looks really good. Um, I took, sorry, I'm struggling. I took some photos some flash photos, so I'm gonna insert them right here. So this photo right here is with flash and in front of a window. And then this photo right here is flash completely in the dark. I was actually in the bathroom in the dark. I closed the door and everything. So you can see the two photos after four hours with flash photography. I know sometimes we get ready and then we go out and we've been wearing the makeup for a while, we start taking pictures and whatnot. So this is how it looks after four hours, flash photography and everything. Um, and then of course, this is how it looks with no flash, just up close and personal. I think it really still looks good for four hours in. And I was actually on my Instagram story right now, no filter, nothing. And I think the foundation, or I keep saying foundation, I keep thinking foundation, but it's, the skin tint, if I say foundation, you know what I'm talking about, but I think the skin tint looks really good so far after four hours of wear. I just finished filming, I ate as well, no creasing around my mouth. I ate pasta too, so pasta's a little messy. I'm about to edit and it's super hot in here and so far, so I also went outside for a while as well and I think it looks good. So I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the day so we can see how it looks after everything. I am shutting it down for the day. <laughs> I am about to go wash my face and I wanted to give you a close up of how the skin tint looks after um, nine hours, right? It's 9.34. 9.34. Yeah, it's not even showing, but it's 9.34. PM so I yeah, I've been wearing the foundation for about like eight nine hours and This is how it looks so you can see a little bit of texture. It's like kind of starting to wear off a little bit But for the most part, it's still completely completely there and For my skin being oily. This does not look bad at all usually by this time I would be a mess oily especially right here just like a grease ball and i have not touched my face at all all day long yeah see it's kind of like wearing off a little tiny bit right there here it always kind of wears off but my forehead is still completely intact will i be wearing this skin tint more often yes I will. I am going to keep both shades actually so I can use one for summertime, use one right now. But I definitely like this skin tint. It's approved by me and that is very rare when it comes to skin tints and BBs and CC creams because I'm a full coverage girl. But this I like especially for every day and lately I have been a little bit more into very sheer and lightweight foundation surprisingly so so far so good for me hopefully you enjoyed this review on the fenty beauty skin tint i will have my shade as well as a link for the skin tint in case you're interested it'll all be down below in the description box thank you guys for tuning in i love you guys and i will see you all in my next video